guys, my name is Dmitry Mzhensky, you are watching Dev++ channel where we are talking about advanced Angular topics. And in the very first video we implemented dark light theme switching and we figured out how to properly configure it. But if we have a look at our current implementation you can see that it works fine except the thing that only components from Angular material library are being turned into the black. But our background stays white and this is the problem actually we want to solve and we would like to have some, some behavior like we have here. So let's fix this issue and learn how we can create a theme for our custom Angular components. For this lesson we will create a theme for our root app component and the first thing we have to do is to create a new SSS file where our theme styles are gonna live. But before to write something here let's talk about what kind of styles do we want to store in this theming file. Well. I didn't find any naming convention for this and if you know please write me somewhere in the comments but I divide component styles into functional and theming styles. So what is a functional styles? Functional styles it is some CSS rules which required by component to be able to work and behave properly. It can be height, it can be width, display property and so on. And it is actually 90% of all component styles and it is good practice to encapsulate them in order to protect our component from implicit style overriding by some, I don't know, parent component maybe. Uh, what about theming styles then? Well, the theming styles, it is mostly properties like colors, backgrounds or typography and they should not be encapsulated. And talking about encapsulation strategy, keep in mind that I didn't say have to because every project has its own exception and probably encapsulation non-strategy works for you better. Okay, once we know what the difference between those two kind of styles, we can start to implement our app component theme. And first of all, uh, we have to import angular material theming file from not modules like this. We need it because we're going to reuse some of SCSS functions provided by angular material. And as a second step we have to create a mixing and let's call this mixing as app root theme good. And this mixin will have one parameter which is theme and here the things are getting interesting. So here we would like to use background color but how will we get it? And to understand this let's go to our style SSS file and check how we create our theme and investigate this function. Let's jump to underscore theme.scss file and find this function here. And let's split our screen so we have this function on the left side and our component theme style on the right one. Let's have a look what ma material light theme function returns. And here we have a map case like primary, accent, warn, foreground and background. So the last one is exactly what we need and let's fetch this variable um, into the, sorry, let's fetch it into the variable called background and we will use a CSS function called map get to do this. Okay, here we go. And let's investigate further. So go back and what and let's see what do we have in this variable. It turns out that we have another map here which has a lot of another colors. 
let's check those colors and find the background property which is the third one that is what we actually looking for and now we need to fetch this color and here we will use the function which we learned in previous lesson where we were working with color palettes and this is the matte color function so this color we want to have as a background color for app root component so let's write app dot oh sorry dash root which is component selector actually and our background color will be like material color and the first parameter is our background palette and we want to fetch background from this which remember this one yeah and that's almost it the last thing we should do it is include our mixing into our style as css file so let's go there and import our app component theme somewhere here then we need to include it in light theme and pass our light theme as a param and the same for dark one but to avoid duplication let's create some mm, let's say high order mixing and replace it here like this okay looks good now let's go to our browser to see how it works and it doesn't work as always hmm. let's check why and aha that's actually what I told you about functional styles our rules which define behavior and uh, behavior of our components and in our case we see that host element has by default display inline and zero height so let's fix it let's go to our uh, fun functional styles yeah? and we will add to host height 100 and 100 viewport height and display block mm -hmm. let's check and here we go it works like a charm I hope you learned something new from this video and if so just hit subscribe button because a lot of more interesting and more advanced things are coming. And I would be happy to see your feedback somewhere in the comment section because it would allow me to improve my content and make it more interesting and useful for you. And guys one more time thank you very much for your attention and see you in the future.